thanks for stopping into my lesson on setting fires by the chain smokers real quick before I get started I've got two iOS applications out right now one is a free app for beginners it's free for a limited time it's called stairway to lesson 16 chords to jam with so go pick that up in the app store and it's just a great app to get beginners strumming chords and playing so if you got a friend who's a beginning guitar player that needs an app send them to that app. Um, another one is called Stairway to Lesson which has lessons like this and a lot of classic rock and a lot of really cool riffs and stuff so go ahead and check that app out as well. So basically to make this as simple as I could for the beginners um, I have a capo on fourth fret and I'll show you another way to play that intro riff if you want to play it or we can just play the chorus together. So what I'm going to do actually is start with the chords of the song first so in case you're a super beginner you can get you know you can get something out of those chords right away if you're not a beginner and you want to learn that cool intro thing skip ahead a little bit and I will cover that as well and at the end of the video I might do like a little um, without capo version for you to try out for the more advanced players okay so just starting out with these chords I think they're super easy it's just I'm doing two fingers per chord on this so you got your capo on the fourth fret now um, in relation to the capo you're gonna stick your middle finger on the second fret of the D string which would be the sixth fret of the D string and then your ring finger on the third fret which would be uh, seventh fret of the A string so you're just gonna strum that a really nice open sounding C chord. So what you're going to do now is just leave your middle finger down where it is on that second fret of the D string. So just take your ring finger off and then add your index finger up here to the second fret of the A string. So that gives you an E minor voicing, E minor style voicing. So that switch was pretty easy. You just got So the next chord is a D, and the way I'm playing this is also just with two fingers. I think it's super easy. Your index finger just jumps down here to second fret of that G, and your ring finger sits here on third fret of the B. So it gives you that sort of another open sounding chord. So you've got... strum pattern I was using like after the song gets rolling you might want to strum a little bit so you've got down 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 up down 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 up a little slower So now for that intro thing, it's a little bit, a um, little bit tougher, but we'll go ahead and give it a try, and then I'll show you a more simplified way to play it for the beginners. So your index finger is going to start on the uh, sixth fret of the D, and your middle finger on the seventh fret of the A string. So it kind of gives you that C voicing again. So that was down. So right before you go up to the next chord, we're going to do one more down strum. So it's down, down, up, up, down, down. Okay. So the next chord, you're going to bring your ring finger all the way up here to the uh, 11th fret of the A. And your index finger all the way up here to 9th fret of the D string. So you're going to just do all down strums. And now you're going to slide down one fret, put your index finger on the uh, eighth fret of the D string and your middle finger on ninth fret of the A string. 
So it's going to be... So that was up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So those two chords are really close together. Especially on the strum pattern, you got to move quick. So... Okay. Now when we repeat it, there's a little change in there. So we've got... Kind of hit that B string. And then you jump back up again. So it's it's really kind of a confusing little riff. But anyway, that's it. Just start with your index finger on that sixth fret of the D. And then use your pinky up here on ninth fret then go to 8th fret, so. And then when it repeats, that's, uh, what is that, 8th fret of the G, so. So it'll do 8th fret of the G before 8th fret of the D. So real quick, if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to just kind of mess around with, uh, you know, playing some octave chords here on the fourth fret of the low E, ring finger on sixth fret of the D. So that's kind of a funky little jump there. But then the chords, basically E. sharp minor so if you bar the fourth fret add your ring finger to the sixth fret of the a and your pinky to the sixth fret of the d then you're going to slide it down to second fret so you're barring second fret ring finger is on us uh, uh, fourth fret of the a pinky is on fourth fret of the d and then you also add your index finger now to get a major voicing on the third fret of the g so that's Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out those iOS apps. Remember, one of them's free for a limited time, so you might as well grab it, tell a friend about it, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping in.